The nine-hole peg test is the most widely accepted way of monitoring arm and hand function in clinical trials. This cardboard version allows you to self-monitor at home. You will need a nine-hole peg test, a stable table, a score sheet and pen, and a stopwatch. You can ask a friend to time you, or you can time yourself if you are able to. Remove the lid and refit the elastic bands. This will give the board extra grip on the table. Make sure you have nine pegs in the dish. Rotate the board so the peg dish is on the same side as your dominant hand. This is the hand that you write with. You are now ready to start the test. Using only one hand, pick up the pegs one at a time and put them into the holes in any order until all the holes are filled. Then immediately remove them one at a time, returning them to the container. Complete the test as quickly as you can. Make sure to record all the results on the score sheet and any circumstances that you believe may have affected your performance of the test. For example, a cold, a pain in your arm or feeling tired. Do two tests with your dominant hand. Once you've completed these two tests, rotate the board and do two further tests with your non-dominant hand. You need to do all the tests consecutively, without breaks. You can hold the board steady with your other hand. Start timing as soon as you touch the first peg and stop timing when the last peg is returned to the container. If a peg falls onto the table, retrieve it and continue. If a peg falls onto the floor, retrieve it and start again. If you fail to complete the test for any reason, you should still try and complete the test next time. It's important that once you have established a way of setting up and timing the test, that you do it in the same way each time. If you have any more questions, then check the FAQs on clinicspeak.com or get in touch.